Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will explain uh, how to use Jupyter IDE to write and run Python programs. In the previous video, I have explained how to install Anaconda Python package. Once you install uh, Anaconda Python package, you will be able to use Jupyter Notebook. The link for installing uh, the Anaconda Python package is given in the description below. Do watch that particular video and install Anaconda Python package before you proceed with this particular concept. Now if you want to open uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can go to the directory where you want to save your uh, programs. Let us say that uh, I am uh, currently present in this directory. What I need to do is uh, I need to open the PowerShell or the command prompt. So to open uh, that uh, PowerShell or command prompt, you need to hold the power, uh, shift button and then press the right mouse click, uh, mouse uh, button. That is, uh, you need to uh, hold the shift button and then press the, the right mouse uh, button. You will able to see one option uh, that is uh, open command window here. Uh, if you are using uh, Windows 10, you will see uh, the PowerShell here. So any one of the option you will be able to see. If you just press uh, right button of mouse, uh, you will not be able to see that option. You need to press uh, shift button and then you need to press uh, the right button of uh, mouse. So once you open this particular command prompt, uh, this is how actually it looks like. Here you need to type one uh, command that is uh, Jupyter Notebook. That is J-U-P-Y-T-E-R space N-O-T-E-B-O-O-C and then press enter button. It will take some time and then uh, it will execute this particular command and the IDE will be opened in your uh, default browser. In my case, it is uh, the Google uh, Chrome here. So this is how actually the IDE will look like. That is the home page of uh, Jupyter Notebook. Here you will be able to see all the files and folders initially. Uh, you can see the same thing over here. All these particular files and folders are listed here. And uh, you will be able to see any running uh, Jupyter uh, programs are there or not. Uh, right now I don't have anything. Whether you have created any clusters or something. That is what actually you will be able to see here. Now coming back to this particular file, uh, let us say that I want to save my program here itself. Uh, I can open this part, I can create a new file uh, by clicking here or else I want to create in any of these particular folders, I can uh, 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 open that particular folder within that I can create a new file. So just uh, for understanding purpose, I will try to create one uh, new file here. Here there are some different possibilities, you can create a text file, folder or you can open a terminal as well as you can uh, op create a new python3 file here so if i click on uh, python3 file it will open another tab in this particular tab uh, you can uh, type your program and then you can execute your program so it is it will take some time at the initial stage uh, but uh, if your machine is fast it will not be the case so now once you open this particular thing uh, Okay, so this is how actually the ID will look like. Uh, here I have, uh, uh, this is called as a cell here. Here I am going to write uh, the program. So initially this particular cell will not be given any number. Once you execute this particular cell, the number will be assigned to this particular uh, cell. If this particular cell is currently running, in that case, uh, you will be displayed with the star here. The meaning of that one is the currently this particular cell is currently executing. Now if you go on this particular uh, thing like uh, we have a file, edit, view and then insert and so on all these particular options are there. Once you go on using this particular ID you will be able to understand all these things. Uh, this is the place where you can uh, save your uh, notebook. This is how we can, you can create a new cell. For example I want to create a new cell here. I can click on uh, plus. I will be able to get one more cell here. If I want to delete any of the cell I can uh, select a particular cell. You can see here this is how actually you can select it. Once it is selected, you can click on this uh, cut cell. It will delete that particular cell. Now this is, uh, you can copy the cell. For example, I want to copy this particular file. I just, just I will tell you some content is present. Uh, like you can say that uh, uh, my channel name, I will write it here. Uh, this is uh, Mahesh Fuddar. Okay, so this is what the content we have. I want to copy it. So I will copy this particular thing. I, and I want, to, I want to paste next to this one. I will place it over here. So it will be pasted here. Okay, uh, I'll do one thing, uh, Mahesh Huddar, I just to copy it, uh, this is Mahesh Huddar. So now I, I'll copy this particular thing. Now I want to paste after this one, so I can do over here, I just paste it over here, so I'll be able to paste it again here. So this is how actually you'll be able to paste. 
uh, this is copy and paste and if you want to move this particular cells uh, you can use this particular thing uh, i want to move this before this so i can press it here it will come to this particular place i want to move it this one down i can press this one it will come to the uh, the next place uh, this is a place where uh, we can run our cell uh, if I run this part, I think it will give you error because this is not a Python statement. Definitely, it will give you error here. So this is how actually the error will look like. It is an invalid uh, syntax in this case. Okay, because this is not a Python statement. So definitely, I should get uh, error. And uh, this is the uh, button we used to stop uh, executing. If you want to restart your kernel, you can use it. Or if you want to restart the kernel and uh, rerun all the cells, you can use this particular thing. Now here if you go here uh, there are some different options are there uh, one is called as a code that is a python code by default it will be the case if you want to write some sentences in that case you can make it as a markdown let us say that i will make this one as markdown now it's a normal sentence and if you try to run this one you don't get any error here it will be the normal sentence here okay so uh, that is the one thing we can do by default it will be a code if you want to modify this particular thing you can modify it with the help of uh, this particular option now sometimes I want to make this one as a heading so here I can go and then I can make this one as a heading here and it will say that this is a level 2 heading and all uh, here the headings are preceded or it will be started with hash in this case okay and then if I run this particular thing you will be able to see uh, the heading in this case okay uh, sometimes what I want is I don't want uh, uh, the heading should be of so much of size I want to reduce the size of this particular heading here I can add one more hash and then I can run it. I will be getting a heading but there is a next level heading and so on. Okay. And uh, if you want this particular thing should be a code, you can select code here. So these are the different options what we have here. So for time being, I will delete uh, or remove all these particular uh, cells. So I will do one thing. Uh, I will create one uh, the heading here. Uh, I can directly create a heading by uh, selecting heading here. And then I can add the sentence. Uh, this is uh, or uh, Jupyter usage tutorial okay and then uh, I can execute it there are two possibilities uh, to execute one uh, you can run this part of thing or you can press shift and then enter you will be able to see the heading okay so this is how uh, actually you can see it now if you want to uh, uh, rename it actually I have removed that particular thing uh, the header here so here is the file name okay so if you want to rename it by default it is untitled or something uh, i can name it as demo uh, file so i will name it as demo and if you want to go back and see here just go to this home uh, tab you can see here that particular file is created this one demo the extension is ipynb that is the extension in this case okay if you want to see whether it is created in your directory you can see here demo.ipynb i means i py means python nb means notebook so that is how actually you can understand it okay now uh, if you want to write any code let us say that uh, uh, print statement so very beautiful thing about this particular id is if you just open this particular parenthesis it will close that particular uh, parenthesis also that is the beautiful thing for example if i just press uh, double quotes here it will automatically close that particular double quotes also so i can give one uh, very simple statement here uh, we can say that welcome to python tutorial by Mahesh Huddar. So this is how actually I can run it. So if you want to run it, uh, you can uh, run with the help of uh, shift enter or you can use uh, the run command also. So this is how actually you will be able to see the output just after that particular cell. Now you can see here, this is the first cell I have executed, this is the second one. If you run one more time, you will be able to see three. The meaning is this is the third time it was executed and so on. Now I uh, will I'll show you one more example. I will create one variable here that is 10. So what has happened is I have created one variable. Now I will print that particular variable here. Uh, the value of you can say that the value of x is okay uh, I, i'll explain how to use print statement and all at the later stage but uh, just timing uh, see the how, how actually it works so i have created uh, the variable now i am displaying this particular variable okay so that's how actually you can do it you cannot do something like this uh, print uh, the value of y is 
why uh, you cannot do something like this because uh, uh, y is not defined so it is not possible but if you see here in this cell i have not defined x but it is already defined in the previous cell so because of that i will be able to use it but if i use y is equal to 20 here okay and then uh, uh, i run it first because uh, it should be the updated value will be stored x is 10 y is 10 now if i execute this cell uh, what you can say that this cell i will be able to run it this is how actually i will be able to do it now if you want to uh, if you open this particular uh, file anytime you will be able to see this particular outputs so that's the reason it is called as a, a jupyter notebook or a notes kind of thing if you want to remove this particular uh, outputs click on cell go to uh, all outputs and there is an option here okay uh, there is a third option you will not be visualized here because of the size all outputs and then uh, clear cell all output and then clear so output will be cleared in this case if you want to rerun entire thing you can run it uh, over here it will say that uh, restart and run all the cells it will restart and run all the uh, cells over here definitely it will take some time uh, but still okay uh, you can see the output here so once you restart and run it uh, you will be able to see all this particular output once again so this is the basic usage of uh, uh, the jupyter notebook the advanced usage of uh, uh, basic uh, jupyter notebook will be explained in the further videos and the link for the same is given in the description below you can watch this particular videos to understand how to use it as well as uh, uh, we have used this particular jupyter notebook uh, for the entire uh, python tutorial uh, once you see that particular tutorial you will be able to understand how to use uh, jupyter notebook in detail i hope uh, this particular uh, concept is clear how to use uh, the uh, jupyter notebook if you like the video uh, do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching